Hello again, everyone. This is American Idioms Part 59. This is the 59th video in my idiom series, and like the others, I'll present five idioms to you numbered 291 to 295. But first, I'll give you a chance to guess their meanings. Then, I'll give you the answers along with an additional example for each new idiom. I also recommend that you pause the video at each question to give yourself some extra time to think of the answers. So, are you ready once again? Okay, here we go. Number 291. To cause a stir. And the example is, the director's new film caused a stir in the country and it was banned in many cities nationwide. Can you guess the meaning? Did you guess A, to cause a bit of a commotion or a controversy? If you did, you are correct, and that's what it means to cause a stir. Think about a commotion as let's say, a problem or a disturbance of some kind. And in our example, that's what they're talking about, how this film caused a stir in the country, a lot of commotion, a lot of problems. All right? That's what it means to cause a stir. Here's another example. The dog ran through the school and caused quite a stir with the students attending class. Okay, in this case, the students were in class, in the school, and the dog ran through there. And it caused a big disturbance, right? The dog caused the stir because the students were probably studying. All right, so that's what it means to cause a stir. And now for number 292, hard to swallow. And the example is, I really like my friend Ed, but some of the stories he tells about his crazy childhood are hard to swallow. Can you guess the meaning? And the answer here is B, something that is difficult to believe. That's what it means if something is hard to swallow. Like in our example, they're talking about how this person's friend told many crazy stories about his childhood, and the person couldn't believe them. Maybe they were so crazy that they were unbelievable. Okay, so they were hard to swallow. That's what it means. Here's another example. Her excuse for coming late for class today was a bit hard to swallow, so our teacher punished her for her tardiness. Okay, so in this case, the teacher didn't believe this excuse that this student had, all right, about being late for class. So the excuse was hard to swallow, hard to believe, or difficult to believe. Got it? And now for number 293, to lose steam. And the example is, because of the scandal, the company's stock dropped significantly in the first week of the month and continued to lose steam as the month came to an end. Can you guess the meaning? The answer here is B, to become weaker or less active, and that's what it means to lose steam. In our example, they're talking about how a scandal happened and the company stock lost steam. Okay, it was dropping, it was going down in value, and it continued to drop or lose 
value when the month ended. Okay, it became weaker. That's what it means to lose steam, to become weaker or less active, as we say. Okay, got it? Here's another example. The president's campaign began much better than expected, but it lost steam after all of the negative stories about him in the media recently. Okay, so in this case, the president's campaign began pretty good, right? But negative stories about him were coming out recently in the news, in the news media, and his campaign was losing steam. Okay, it was becoming weaker. Got it? That's what it means. All right, and now for number 294. To shake one's head. And the example is, he presented his creative solution to our company's problems, and our boss just shook his head because he had never heard ideas like that before. Can you guess the meaning? And the answer here is A, to express confusion or bewilderment about something. And that's what it means in this particular context to shake one's head. In our example, we're talking about how the boss shook his head in confusion or maybe he was shocked or bewildered about what this person in his company was presenting, the solution to these problems, okay? So he was bewildered, all right? So he shook his head like that. Now, this is actually interesting because literally he could have been shaking his head, being confused. You can shake your head like that, okay? Or it could be a figurative use. In this case, it could be both. Got it? All right, here's another example. When I heard how much the repairs to my car would cost me, I just shook my head in disbelief. All right, in this case, again, the person is confused or even shocked or they don't believe it. So they're bewildered, okay? when they heard how much this was going to cost them, how much the repairs to their car was going to cost them. Okay, so again, they could have shaken their head, right, literally, or just said it figuratively to mean that they shook their head. Got it? All right, and now for our final idiom, number 295, to give something your all. And the example is, our team gave it our all, but we couldn't finish our new project before the deadline. Can you guess the meaning? And the answer here is C, to try as hard as you can to succeed at something. And that's what they're talking about in our example. The team, probably at work or somewhere, maybe school, they were trying to finish their new project before the deadline, but they couldn't do it, even though they tried as hard as they could. Okay, they gave it their all, as they say. All right, here's another example. I was very proud of my son because even though he lost the race, he gave it his all. Okay, in this case, the person was very proud of their son because he tried as hard as he could, even though he lost the race. All right, he gave it his all, as we say. Got it? That's all for this video. Thanks again for subscribing and watching. And please like and share this video to support the channel. And remember what I always say, keep practicing. See you next time.